Very good, very good, very good. Hey everybody, this is El Viejo Toro for Fancy Action Now. And we are in the beautiful Zen Studios to, um, to film, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it is another like peculiar pickup plus an unboxing plus a, like uh, another part of my Nintendo Switch rant. Again, I was watching Retro Gamer 3 on YouTube. Check out his channel. Crazy good uh, videos. He's got like two generations. I mean, it's one continuous channel, but he had like, you know, when he started, when YouTube was more like, you know, the game review thing was exploding. And then he kind of took a, took a hiatus and then he came back. And, you know, now it's a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit of a different flavor to the show. Uh, you know, he's kind of uh, got a more of a modern style with the, you know, the microphone and, you know, all that stuff. And it looks good. But he came out with a couple of rants. He came out with a couple of video rants about the Switch. And he's not real big on the Switch. And, excuse me, he saw some things, Retro Gamer 3 saw some things in the advertising that bothered him. And I saw the exact same things. Um, there's a little tiny plastic stand on the switch that is gonna crack off in the first few days, if not a week or whatever. Um, again, if you drop this thing, boom, you know, you, you know, 30% of the functionality of this console is now gone. Um, you know, it's basically a very small tablet, like the original mini tab, you know, now the minis are like, you know, this, and the, the regular iPads are like this. You know, with, with iPad being able to use a controller, you know, I'm just like, well, wouldn't I rather use a controller, a traditional controller on like an iPad than I would want to play mobile with the Switch? Because there are cases, and, and they're gonna come out with all of that stuff to support it, but it's not gonna be like the 3DS. It's not gonna be like a pocket mobile system, which is what Nintendo has done so successfully for a very long time. And I said before, they're gonna to try to blend the console, which has failed in the Wii U, with their mobile, which is successful, which is not good. It's like one kook and one good parent don't make a good family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's a terrible analogy. It's a little too close to reality, but it's one of those things where yeah, it's just not, it, the, the promo looks good. Like the marketing, they actually did some marketing on it. But the other thing is with the Switch is the controller. If you have the pad and you're using it like that, like the Wii U controller, you're doing all right. You're doing all right, you're gonna be fine. But if you're pulling them off and using them separately like this, like a, like a Wii nunchuck in, in two hands, that will not work. That will not be popular. It will cause hand problems to Nintendo. Just like, what was it? Was it the N64? I think it was the N64 controller that actually caused like, you know, bursitis or something like that. I'm not making a claim. I think there were hand problems. They had to put warnings in the boxes. You know, you're trying to destroy our hands and destroy our eyeballs with the, uh, you know, that, that, that red menace, the red menace by Nintendo. <laughs> Done, done. That's my nickname for that system. The Micro Boy or uh, Retro Boy or... <laughs> Micro Boy or uh, Retro Boy. <laughs> I always call it the Red Menace, so, you know, that's my name for it. But, um, you know, that that is going to be a problem, Nintendo. It's going to be a big problem. And being underpowered and not competing graphically with the other systems, which I admit is futile okay but you know whatever but what i have is this is kind of an eclectic this is kind of a um um what i would call it a peculiar pickup video now one thing i did pick up and it is an unboxing i got another mail avalanche i got another mail avalanche from the postal service yay so what I decided to do is, I've been collecting original Xbox for a while, and you know, I looked up on Wiki, uh, I just went online, I put like, what are the um, you know, original Xbox 1080, 1080p or 1080i games? Because there is a handful of them. A lot, there's a lot more in the enhanced like 720p, 
which is really, to me, in my mind, the best the Xbox gets. Uh, these 1080i games were a strange collection. And I've heard other reviewers talk about it, but since I'm collecting Xbox, I'm, I'm really not that far into it. I mean, I'm about, uh, I have an app where it shows you what percentage of total collection you are, and I'm like 11 or 12%. With this, I'll probably be 12%. So, eh, you know, not terrible, but it's a thousand titles. So, you know, that means I've got, you know, over a hundred Xbox titles, original Xbox titles. So, you know, not terrible, not terrible. Again, respectable, but, um, Man, those complete collections take up a lot of space. I mean, I, I'm like maxing my space right now. I only have 100. And I've got, you know, games from other systems as well. But it's like still, you know. So one of the games, so what I decided to do was do a mini collection within a collection. And, you know, that's fun. And it's relatively inexpensive, right? So original Xbox is very cheap right now. Uh, so you can pick up a lot of these games for very reasonable. So I looked on the wiki about which, you know, what what are the um, what are the 1080i games? It's not 1080p. It's not not progressive, but it's uh, 1080i. So full, you know, full blown 1080p or 1080i um, HD on these games. And man, they are a weird bunch. But I thought, you know what? I don't have, I have, I had two of them. I had some Siberia and I forget the other ones, you know. I should really bring my laptop out here and we can look at what those games are. Okay, be right back. Hey everybody. So we're back. And we're talking about the 1080p collection by uh, the original Xbox, the games that are 1080p. And I brought my laptop out and I have a really nice um, uh, uh, table of information on Wikipedia about the different games and the different video resolutions and video modes that the original Xbox could do. Very original, very groundbreaking stuff on the original Xbox. All right, so we're gonna take a look here. The very first game, now these are the two that I originally had just from collecting in the wild. These are dollar titles, I got these for a buck, okay? Now again, some of these games make sense to me in 1080i, but most of them don't. But anyway, Enter the Matrix. This is by Shiny Entertainment. And it was published by Atari. So it's like an American, it's an American property. It does have like a 3D kind of, it's got a really cool cover. It's a really average, I've played it some. Now does it look nice in 1080i? It certainly does. But the graphics are quite primitive and plain, like a lot of warehouses and buildings and stuff like that. So it's not, it's not very lush. Uh, at least in the first few levels that I played, it's very bare and sparse. That doesn't lend itself well to high res, okay? Or, you know, these beautiful resolutions because there's nothing to see. I mean, is your character clean and the other character models very clean? Yes, everything's visually very nice. Uh, but, you know, did you need to go on the original Xbox? Did you need to go 1080 on this? Uh, no. But, you know, it is what it is. And it looks, uh, you know, it's a nice looking game. The cutscenes are very nice. So, uh, yeah, Enter the Matrix. Uh, 1080, uh, 1080i. Now, the other game that I have, now this, alternately, is great in 1080i. This is, this is worth it because it is extremely detailed, lush, point-and-click adventure, um, Siberia. It's got a very, uh, very European, um, kind of, like, you know, Art Nouveau, you know, a little bit, um, art style. And, um, yeah, I mean, this is where you really want the resolution. Even though the graphics themselves tend to be CGI and they're not, um, you know the pixel, the pixel, the pixel, <laughs> the pixel depth is, isn't that isn't that great? Um, it's still a beautiful looking game. 
Um, this is one where the cutscenes look amazing and it really pays off to have um, Siberia in the 1080i resolution on the original Xbox. Fantastic. Now, one that I got that I unpackaged without you, I'd like to apologize up front. But I un unboxed it without you. Is this. Now, ironically, again, by Atari, just like Enter the Matrix, this is the Atari, the Atari Anthology in the, you know, holographic foil cover, which it is definitely entitled to. I love the packaging. 85 games on one disc. 85 Atari games on one disc. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Nice. So I ordered this. This is one of, you know, I only had two of the ones that are on 1080i. So let me go and, uh, you know, and again, the 1080i collection in the, in the original Xbox is a collection within a collection. So I would like to understand, and I would love to see it in the comments, um, when have you done that before? When have you collected within a collection? Due to cost restraint or space, space restraint. I know that uh, Games of War is like, hey man, you know, I can't, I can't collect everything. I want to get these particular licenses and these games out of these uh, generations or these systems. That's what I like, that's what I want, and that's what I have room for, and there you go. And he's already got a huge game room. So, you know, he's considering space and cost. Uh, and some, you just can't go out and buy an entire collection unless you want to drop, you know, 15, 25, 50 grand. Some of these, you know, I see some of these collections out there, you know, $70,000, $100,000 collections. Um, you know, most of us don't want to do that. Even if you had the money, you know, would you want to do that? I'd like get an investment property or something. I don't know if I'd buy a video game collection. But I, building it is fun. Building it is the fun part. So, but anyway, so this is me collecting within a collection to get all of the 1080i titles for the original Xbox. So this is, this is, the, this is the titles, I'm gonna read these to you. The first one is listed is, it's alphabetical, is the Antari Anthology, that's number one. I like this, can you just scroll, scroll down quick. Dragon's Lair 3D, Return to the Lair. So they got Lair twice in the title, it's a little redundant. But it's Dragon's Lair 3D, Return to the Lair. Couldn't you just say the Return of Dirk? Wouldn't that be cooler, Return of Dirk? Yeah. Uh, Enter the Matrix, which we've already talked about, right? Now these titles, I have yet to see them uh, on screen yet, but it's MX Unleashed and MX versus ATV Unleashed. All right, so that's the original game and its sequel. Uh, those are probably outstanding in 1080i, and those are really probably the most anxious I am. I was anxious to see Siberia, and I was impressed, and I'm anxious to see uh, the MX games, too. Uh, there's one more down here, Siberia, which we already did, and that's it. So there are a total of six games. These are the six I currently have right now. Right? Siberia, Enter the Matrix, and the Atari Collection I picked up and opened. So, there's only three other games on the original Xbox that will operate on a 1080i with the component um, cables and give you an HD output. And I think that's awesome. Let's take a look. Package number one. Return to the Lair by Ubisoft. I really like this because you can just get, I'm just sitting down and I can put it out there and it's awesome. Now what it says in here, some of them actually say 1080i on here. This just says 10 HD TV, but if you look here, all Ultimate Home Theater compatible with 1080i widescreen HD TV and digital Dolby 5.1 audio only on your Xbox. So, and again, this game did not get rave reviews. 
This game did not get a rate of reviews, but um, here it is in the collection, 1080i. There you go. I will try this out. I was a Dragonlance fan back in the day. I still play it once in a while. Very frustrating game, even at home, where you're not paying money for the privilege. Wow. Package number two. Two, give it up for two. Two. You got six titles. The little mini collection, a little sweet HD 1080i mini collection within the Xbox collection. What other mini collections are out there? That's what I, I mean, I just think that's cool, you know? Whether you're getting like all the Jacks and da Jack and Daxters or you get all of, you know, these little mini collections, it's more of a sniper approach where you look at a particular, you know, either it's the license, it's the type of game, or, you know, I want all the fighters. When I started collecting for the Sega Saturn, I went off after the Capcom fighters first. That's what I wanted first. That's what well, my real interest is, was those Cap Sega Saturn Capcom fighters on my own console. That's what I wanted. And that's what I did. I got all of the, especially the X-Men, Marvel, superheroes ones. Those were my, those were my priorities. Do I have every, you know, a Sega Saturn fighting game by Capcom? Yeah, no. There's a lot of them on the Saturn. The, the Capcom was good to the Saturn, at least in Japan. Oh, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, MX Unleashed by THQ and Rainbow Studios. I imagine this looks awesome. And this looks great. This looks awesome in 1080i. I mean, it looks really, really good. There's the front. I love that big blue sky, you know, that's awesome. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm looking at these, I'm looking at these, this gameplay and this could be, this could be on the, you know, the PS3 or the Xbox 360. What do you want to bet it reaches that level? Because these games are very basic. There's not a whole lot of, you know, once you get the the physics mechanics of, of the of the uh, the the the, um, um, the um, what am I thinking of? It's like the the not the aspects, but the uh, hmm, you know the elements. You know the 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 um, and I keep wanting to say resources. It's not resources, but uh, the word will come to me. But um, it looks great. It looks great. So booyah, the assets, that's it. Once you have the assets, the, the physics on the assets, then you pretty much throw a paint on at that point for those type of games. Oh, there's a, there's a, um, there's a packing slip in this one. So fancy, woo! MX versus ATV Unleashed. So they get all the ATVs, this is gonna be fun. This is one I will pick up and play on a regular basis because this looks like a lot of fun. And, uh, and yeah, it says an off-road masterpiece. It looks really good. And I mean, it's just like everything is in here. And it has the 1080i um, indicator in the back. So there you go. So you got, you got like, I don't, wanna, I don't want my finger to take up too much, too much of that, but you pretty much got it all in this game. And it's in 1080i. So, now you have, this copy is very clean, very clean copy, thank you. Let me see if I can plug the seller. Brookhaven Auctions. The seller was Brookhaven Auctions. This title was five bucks. Thank you, Brookhaven Auctions. So it looks really good. Yep, very clean, yep. So if they're all tested, I don't get them, I, again, I don't buy these games unless they're tested. They, they don't put tested on there, uh, no. So here we go. So you've got, now, I have the complete. <laughs> the complete Xbox 360. The Xbox 360. 1080i collection. 
all the 1080i games for the Xbox right there in one hand. Fantastic. MX and ATV Unleashed, MX Unleashed, Dragon's Lair 3D, and Atari Anthology, Enter the Matrix, and Siberia. So I am happy to have this little mini collection in my regular connection collection of uh, Xbox titles. So enjoy the video, keep gaming, and I would like to know uh, also, would anybody be interested in a fancy Action Now t-shirt? God knows I would. I think I'm going to have some made. And um, if you want one, let me know. Maybe I'll throw a site up. Um, tell me what you like about the videos. Tell me what you'd like me to see. Tell me what you'd like me to do. I'm a meat puppet. I'll do what you tell me. So anyway, um, I've got plenty of ideas for videos. And I mean, I've got more ideas than I have time to make them. So uh, don't worry about content. Content is gonna keep on coming. Uh, for the time being, this is El Viejo Toro, the beautiful Zen Lounge, sliding into the holidays with the HD collection for the original Xbox. Peace out. Mm.